we are recording. We are up. We are ready to roll. All you're going to need is one single light to medium dumbbell. One single light to medium dumbbell is all you need for the entire workout, and that's going to be just holding it for a couple exercises. Even if you don't have that, it doesn't even matter. You can literally do this pretty much without even having that. So we are going to get set up. We're going to warm up. Maria is here with us. If you're going to be coming off video so we can see you, that'd be great. If not, do what you got to do. So we're going to be moving forward. There we go. Now we can see it. So we're just going to need a light dumbbell. We're on Facebook and on Zoom here at the same time. And to warm this whole workout, you see some space forward and back. Not even a ton of space. We're just going to be moving forward and moving back throughout the entire workout. So we're going to start warming up, moving forward. Stretching your knee to your chest. We're literally just going to step forward, stretch your knee to your chest while you're stepping forward. Hug the knee up to the chest, walking forward. Then you're going to walk backwards, bringing the knee to your quad. Heel to your quad, stretching the quads and glutes. So that range that you're moving forward and backwards, we're going to use that all day. So if you can even make a little more space, do what you have to do because you are going to be doing an ex exercise moving us forward and back in a second. For now, it's just stretching. So knee hugs going forward, quad stretch going backwards. So at the same time, you're stretching those muscles, you're warming up on that other side, you're balancing on that one leg. Make sure that leg that you're standing on stays slightly bent. If you just did this, why don't you get on me? Knee hug, hug the your chest, if you just kind up, why don't you get on me? Hug knee. And then step backwards for quad stretch. Hi, Maria. Welcome back. <laughs> Heel to the glute. And it's good. Now we're going to walk forward with forward shoulder circles. And then walk backwards with backward shoulder circles. You want to actually move forward and backwards. Because this whole workout, you're going to move forward and backwards. Forward shoulder circles. Coming forward. Awesome. Backwards. Coming backwards, just keep rolling. Just getting those shoulders loosened up and getting ready to move, ready to work. And back. Come one more time each. Forward, coming forward. Back. Better watch out. Better watch out. You're going to get smacked. And good. Now we're going to walk forward. Just walking forward, literally walking forward. Stretching that right shoulder. And then just walking backwards, stretching the left shoulder. We're just getting the body fling. Fling the chest open in between. So stretch the right shoulder going forward, then fling it open. Stretch the left as we're going backwards. Fling it, stretch right going forward. Once you get all the way forward, and give yourself as much room as you could possibly get front and back. So if you have, want to rearrange some things, do what you got to do. So you are going to be moving forward for these. Forward and back all day. This is going to be your lane. This lane that we're warming up in, is going to be your lane for the entire workout. Do an exercise on both ends of this front and back position. And this first round, just keep shaking those out. Stretch those shoulders, shake it. Do what you got to do. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to start in your furthest back position. As far back as you can get, we're going to start on that lane that you just created, that front and back lane. So you're going to start as far back as you can. You're going to do jumping jacks to get as far forward as you can. So we're going to do jumping jacks forward. So we're actually moving forward, just legs only. Move it. See, I'm moving forward with the jumping jacks. Once you're out of room, you're going to hit the floor. Stay right there. Hit the floor for four shoulder taps. Two, three, four. Come back onto your feet. Shoulder taps. It's push-up position, shoulder taps. It's four times. And now you're going to hit jumping jack backwards back to your starting position. Jumping jack backwards, back to your starting position. In that starting position, you're going to the floor again for just four shoulder taps. So all you're doing is going, using the jumping jacks to get you forward, using the reverse jumping jacks to get you backwards, legs only. So jumping jacks forward, hit the floor, hit the floor in that forward position, hit the floor in that forward position. Don't go backwards until you hit the floor. You got to do your four shoulder taps first. So you're doing the four shoulder taps in the front position and four shoulder taps in the back position. So you jumping jack forward, hit the floor for the four, jet, four taps. Jumping jack back, hit the floor for four taps. So now right there, drop, there you go, drop the floor right away. Now we got it. 
Four taps, back to your feet, and jumping jacks backwards, just legs only. Once you get to the back position, back down on the floor, and hit those four taps. Just getting the body moving. Back to the feet, and jumping jacks forward. So this lane, this way we're doing this, is how we're going to be doing this all day. So we do an exercise to move front and back, and then an exercise in the back position and the front position. Pretty simple one just to get us started. Four taps. Back to your feet. And just keep jumping it. Jump it forward. Legs only. Bouncing your step. And four more in the front position. One more time on each side. One more time back. One more time forward. Or whatever position you're on. Hit the floor. Taps. Back on your feet, and one more time, come forward, and hit the floor for four, four taps, and good, and time, 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 and just shake it out, keep getting loose, stretching those shoulders, getting ready. So this one, we're going to get moved, we're going to be moving, we're going to be replacing that jumping jack with a bear walk, so a bear walk, we're going to back up so you can see me pretty good, right here. My knees are almost touching the floor. Just little steps, not like a bear crawl when we're fully extended. And then we're gonna come backwards. A bear crawl would be really reaching and driving a bear crawl. It's gonna be a bear walk. So literally your knees are hovering above the floor, your hands are right under your shoulders. You're at like a 90 degree bend. A slow walk, just to warm up those chest, shoulders, and tries a little more. Once we get to the front and back position, you're coming up for four front kicks. One, two, three, four. And you'll hit the floor and go to that slow bear walk. So my knees are down low to the floor. Get to the front position and four front kicks. Let's do it. Going in three, two, one, begin. So it's a slow bear walk. It's not a crawl. It's just little small steps forward and then small steps going backwards. There you go. Just straight forward. Keep your knees close to the floor. And then four kicks. Bend the knee and extend, alternating legs. So your hands stay under your shoulders. Your back stays parallel to the floor. Getting that chest, shoulders, tries all warmed up. And four kicks in the front position. Boom. Right back on the floor. Now you're going reverse. Tiny steps, tiny steps. A little awkward. Keep those knees down, knees down, butt down. Back should be parallel to the floor. Come to the back position. Bam. Four kicks. Right back down. Tiny steps. So your knees are almost raising the floor. A lot different than a bear crawl. A little slower. A little more core work. A little more control. Boom. Boom. Four kicks. Four kicks. And then backwards on the bear crawl. Tiny little steps or bear walk. There you go. Can you stop and get looking at the cameras? I'm looking at the camera. Put everything under control there, boy. You keep working. Keep rolling. Back position. And bam. Bam. Four. Four total. And time. So every set is going to be a couple seconds in between. Just stretch. Time, time, time. Stop the set. Stretch your quads. Stretch your glutes, stretch your shoulders. We are working for the We are working for the Is this Shake it, stretch it. Getting ready for the next round. So here's just going to be, we're going to be getting front and back with just little double leg ankle hops. So just on your toes. Think of like jumping a rope, but going forward. Little ankle hops going forward. Once you get forward, you're gonna hit the floor for two push-ups. Come up, and you're gonna do backwards ankle hops and two push-ups back. So it's just ankle hops to push-ups. Two push-ups front position, two push-ups back position. Going in three, two, one, go. 
Just little bounces. Ankle hops, hit the floor for two push-ups. On your feet. Workout, good work, good work. Excellent. Your four days in a row streak is done. Back to the zero. So no desserts. Back to no games. No VR. Two push-ups. And ankle hops forward. Hit the floor. Two pushes. Bouncing your step, pumping those calves up. Little ankle hops. A little one can join us. She can do these exercises. Bouncing backwards, reverse ankle hops. Two push ups every spot. Two push ups. Right to your feet, right back to the ankle hop. There it is, hit the floor. Two pushes. And reverse backwards. Bouncing, non-stop movement. So the second you get to that back position, get to the push-up position. Bang out your two, hop it up. Down for the two pushes. Two push-up, lean at the chest. Couple more, couple more. Stay light on your feet, bouncing on your toes. Nice, two solid push-ups, hop up, and bounce double, reverse those bounces back. Almost there. Two more sets, one more forward, one more back. Bounce it back, and time. Finish, we'll finish those two push-ups, finish them all. If you didn't finish the push-ups. And time. This round, you're gonna need your, your light dumbbell. Whether you have a light, medium dumbbell, whatever it is, you see a single dumbbell if you have it. If not, that's fine. Do you have any kind of dumbbell? All right, perfect. So this is coming with us the whole way. The way we're getting forward and back is a half squat thrust, half crawl out. So it's gonna be in our right arm going forward and backwards. Our exercise on each end is just gonna be two squat jumps. So you'll hold it in your right arm in the back position. You'll hit your two squat jumps. Then we're gonna crawl forward, jump our feet forward, crawl forward, jump our feet forward until we get to the front position and then hit two squat jumps in the front position. So it's like a half squat thrust, half crawl out, moving across the floor and then two squat jumps. You're gonna go forward and back with the right arm. Once you get all the way back here, you'll switch to the left arm, and then go all the way forward, all the way back with the left arm. So it ends up being two sets of squat jumps each arm. So let's start on the right arm, I'll walk you through it. Let's go, two squat jumps, holding it in the right arm. Crawl the hands forward, all the way out to the push up position, jump your feet forward. Crawl the hands out again, forward. Crawl them out again, jump forward, still in the right arm. Two squat jumps. Still on the right arm. No, now squat down, jump the feet back. Crawl the hands back. Jump the feet back. Crawl the hands back. Stand up and switch arms. Now switch to the left arm. Now two squat jumps with the left arm. Hold it right there. There we go. Two squat jumps on the left side. Crawl all the way forward. Jump. Crawl out, half squat thrust. Crawl out, half squat thrust. Two squat jumps. If anyone's watching on Facebook, we're also over on Zoom at the same time. Jump back, crawl the hands. Jump back, crawl the hands, boom. And then 
then switch back over to the right arm. Yeah. Keep rolling. There you go. Crawl back. Jump the feet back. And then switch arms. Every time you get back to the back position, switch arms. It's not two squat jumps right there. There you go. Sit back on the hips and the heels. Head up, chest out, abs strong. Keep rolling. A lot of work on this round. A lot of movement. Controlling that weight now. Working our entire body here. Get those two squat jumps in the forward position. Same arm to get backwards. And then once you get back, switch arms. Make sure you switch arms every time you get back to the back position. Crawl forward, jump. Two squat jump. And then head back. Keep it rolling. Make sure you switch those arms every time you get back there. There we go. Reverse crawl out, reverse squat thrust. One more time forward, one more time back. Let's do it. Almost there. Finish it off, whatever space you have going forward, give yourself some room. Take way. Move the couches and chairs. Do what you gotta do. And boom, boom. And going backwards, jump the feet back, crawl the hands, jump the feet back, crawl the hands, and time, time. Nice round. Shake it out. Oh yeah. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Stretch those legs, quads, glutes. Stretch the shoulders. For the next several rounds, we're gonna be taking that dumbbell with us, so get used to it. Same way, switching arms after each rotation. So this round is gonna be frog jumps, forward and backwards, doing renegade rows in each position. I'll show you what it is. So I'll show you the short variation of this. So we're moving forward. Our moving exercise is frog jumps. So you're just jumping forward, actually. Once you get in position, we're gonna do renegade row. Just two on that right side. One, two. Come up, and then you'll frog jump backwards. Then switch arms. So start with the row right there. Start renegade rows there first with that arm. So in that back position, start with the rows. No, start with the rows first. So start down here for row twice on that arm, then come up, hold it in the right same hand, and do little frog jumps forward, all the way forward, same arm. Once you get back, then switch arms. Now switch arms and do the two rows on this side now. Now hit the floor for two rows on the other side. One. Two, hop up, and frog jumps forward. Two rows on that side. One, two, back to your shoulder, frog jump back. Keep that same arm, you're only switching when you get back. Once you get back, then switch. There we go. Now switch, get the rows. Two rows, hop up. Just little hops, little hops. Keep that same arm. Jump backwards with that same arm. Keep it in that same arm, jump back. There you go. And now switch arms. Slow it down, you have to switch arms, switch arms, switch arms. Switch arms! Should have been the other arm. Every time you get to the back position, switch the arm. Two rows in the back position. This same arm. Frog jump forward. Same arm. Down for two more rows. 
on that same arm. Frog, jump backwards. Then I'm gonna switch arms for the other side. Let's finish this off. Finish it off. Two, hop in, get it up. Frog, jump forward. Hit the floor. Two rows. Hop up. Frog, jump back. Time. Time, time. Shake it out. Nice round. Shake it. Here you are. Stretch the shoulders. Shake it, stretch it. Recover. Stretch your calves if you have to. If they start tightening up. Shoulders. Grab a hold of something, stretch your chest. So turn away to stretch your chest. Throw your heel up somewhere. Stretch your hamstrings. Sit down, stretch your glutes. And then also your hip flexor. Stepping back with the back leg. Turning towards the front leg. All right. So this next one, taking the dumbbell with us still. We're gonna be bear crawling with the dumbbell to get forward and back. So now it's not like before. Now we're actually extending more and reaching opposite arm, opposite leg. Not staying as low we did for the bear walk. So a bear crawl. When we get to the end, you're doing a curl to press two times. Two curl to press, then right back down, and bear crawl back, then switch arms. So let's all start in the back position. Let's start in the back position. Let's all start with the right arm. Right arm. Two curl to press. Two curl to press. Let's do it. Let's go. One, two, curl to press. Now bear crawl forward with that weight still in your right arm. Bear crawl forward, once you're forward. Two more curl to press, still with the right arm, same arm. Two times. Bear crawl backwards, it's still in that arm, still in the right arm. Bear crawl back. Stand up. Now switch arms. Now left arm. Curl to press twice. Bear crawl forward. The weight's in the left hand. Bear crawl forward. Get to that front position. Curl the press for two. Bear crawl back. And switch arms. Now right arm, curl the press, two. All right, you got it down now, so go at your own pace. Don't let me slow you down, go at your own pace. Bear crawl forward, same arm. Drive it up, curl the press for two. Reverse bear crawl, still in that same arm. You don't switch till you get back here. Now you switch. We're gonna curl the press on the other side. Two times, curl the press. Not just a press, it's a curl the press. Look, it comes all the way down, look. The weight's all the way down. It's a curl, press, all the way down to the side. Curl, press, not just a press. There you go, all the way down. There you go, and then right back up. Twice. Curl the press, two times. There it is. Bear crawl and reverse bear crawl. With two curl depresses. Push it. Drive it up. And reverse bear crawl. And then switch arms. When you get in the back position, switch arms. Curl press. Two times. Crawl forward. Curl press. Backwards bear crawl. His arms are starting to get pumped up. Switch arms. We're cruising. Curl the press. Squeeze it. Drive it up. We're going. Huh? Curl. Bear crawl forward. Curl the press. Squeeze that bicep when you're curling. Press up the shoulder. 
and control it. And then reverse bear crawl. Switch arms, let's go one more time each side. We're working now. Curl press, we're on the right arm, we're going both sides, there and back. Forward, up, same side. Squeeze the bicep, press with the shoulder. Oh yeah. Reverse crawl. Hell yeah. Last time on the other side, once you get back there, switch sides, do one more. Curl to press. This is it, you got this. Keep rolling. This is the last one. Just gotta go forward and backwards. Get forward, curl the press. This is it, finish it. And backwards. And time, yes. Shake it out. High five, sucker. <laughs> nice round. Recover, hydrate, shake, stretch. Do what you gotta do. Get ready for the next round. We're still going with our weight. We're not going yet. But I'm just gonna show you what it is. Make sure you stretch your calves out also. Put your toes up against something and stretch your calves. Because this one's going to be back to bouncing and it's going to be on single leg. So it's going to be single leg ankle hops. So you're going to be on your right leg, holding the weight in the opposite hand. So I'm joining my right leg, left hand, and I'm hopping forward. Once I get forward, you're exercising each position. In the push-up position, all you're doing is reaching forward and back down to the ground. Punching forward two times, back down to the ground. Then you'll do that same leg, same arm, hopping backwards. Again, once you get in the back position, then you'll switch arm and leg. So I'll walk you through the first round. We'll all stay together on this first set to make sure we got it down. So let's get set up in the back position. The weight's going to be in your right hand. The weight in your right hand, standing on your left leg. So right leg is in the air, and we're just going to hop forward, or sorry, we're going to start on the floor, down, hit those two right arm punches, bring it down, and punch, hop up to your feet, weight still in your right hand, we're going to hop forward on our left leg, hop all the way forward, left leg only, hopping forward, hit the floor, those two right arm punches, punch, spray it down to the ground, punch, down to the ground, come up. The weight's still in our right hand, standing on the left leg still, and now backwards hop on the left leg still. There we go, switch arms. Back down to the push-up position. Punch with the left arm, bring it down. Punch with the left arm, bring it down. Up to your feet, the weight's in your left arm still. Bring it up to here. Stand on your right leg. And hop forward on the right leg. <laughs> Left leg's in the air. Down to the push-up position. Punch twice. Touch the floor. Punch. And hop backwards on that right leg. Tons of work here. And then switch arms. I'm going to stay with you so we can walk it through. Put in the right arm now. Back down. Push-up position. Right arm. Punch. Touch the floor. Punch. Touch the floor. Hop up. Weights in the right arm, stay on the left leg, hop forward on the left leg. Brace those abs. Back down, push up position. Punch with the right arm still. Punch, touch floor. Punch, touch floor, stand up. Weight at the shoulder, right arm. Hop back on the left leg. Once you get back here, switch arms. Left arm, push up position. Two punches, down, punch. Down, up to your feet, shoulder, hop forward on the right leg, right leg, oh yeah, down, push up position, left punch, down, left punch, down, up, and bounce back on the right leg, lots to think about, one more time on each arm, put it in the right arm, 
Down for the two punches, right arm. Punch, punch. Come up. Left leg, bounce back on the left leg. Holding in your right arm. Switch to the left arm, last time, last one, left arm. Push up position. Two punch, punch forward, head down. Punch forward, head down. Hop up. Shoulder rack, up here. Bounce on the right leg. Push up position. Punch forward, down, forward. Hop up. Right leg, hop it back. And time. Woo. Shake it and recover. Recover. We're on a recovery. Make sure those calves are stretched out. We are ready to go. You should be hydrated. You should be dripping sweat by now if you're not doing something wrong. Ooh, Gondola running. Two snatches. All right, so we're gonna go gorilla run. So weight in your right arm. So you're gonna be, it's kind of like a bear crawl, but both arms are going together. I'm gonna show you from a side view so you can see how it goes. Gorilla run, you're here. Both arms go forward, and then your feet jump forward. So your both arms reach forward, and then both feet jump forward. And then backwards will be the same thing. Jump back and crawl, kind of how we did earlier. On the end, you're gonna do two snatches, the right arm, so from bottom, just whipping it up to the top. Straight down, straight up. So you're not stopping in the middle. Before we did curl to press, you stopped in the middle. This is just a snatch where you just whip it straight up in the air. So the palm is forward, and it's just literally boom. One shot, two times. Can I, can I use a gorilla? No, can I gorilla run. So um. let's do it. Let's start with the right arm. Gorilla run going forward. The backwards gorilla run is a little weird, but we'll figure it out. So both arms. Actually, first, let's start with those two right arm snatches. Sorry, both start staying. The two right arm snatch, because we got to get it done in this back position. Whip it up. And then gorilla run forward. Both hands reach forward, propelling you forward. And then both legs jump forward. And then hit those two snatches on the right arm again. Whip it up. And then go backwards. Both feet jump back. Both hands come back. Both feet. Both feet jump back. Hands. Stand up, switch to the left arm. Now two left arm snatch, whip it up there with some speed. Two times. And the gorilla run forward with that weight in your left hand. Two snatches, left arm, whip it up. There we go. Bend the legs a little bit on those, bend the legs and then snap it up. And now backwards gorilla, jump both feet back. Both feet back and both hands. Switch arms. Look at my legs. Make sure you bend your legs a little bit for that snap. It explodes. Your legs are helping to whip it up there. Bend down a little bit. There you go. And now gorilla run. Both hands drive forward. Ride the momentum with that weight. And two right arm snatch. And backwards. I was just dark on this side. Whatever. Jump back. Oh, yeah. Lots of work. Switch arms. Left arm. Whip it. Dip. Whip. Gorilla run going forward. Two left arm snatch. Whip it. Boom. There it is. And backwards. back. Make sure you switch arms. Right arm. Two right arm snatch. Bam. Snap it up there. Boom. Oh yeah. Gorilla run. Right arm. Oh, yeah. Two right arm snatch. These suck. Woo. Two right arm snatch. And backwards. Feet jump back. Get the hands back. And then switch left arm. Two left arm snatch. Boom. Whip it. 
Grill run, left arm. Woo. Left arm snatch for two. Boom. Ha. And reverse. One more time each side. He's got to go there and back twice still. Right arm snatch. Bam. Bam. Gorilla run forward, right arm. Two right arm snatch. Ha. Backwards with that right arm. Last time with the left arm. This is it. Back position, two left arm snatch. Bam. Move. Left arm gorilla run. He's got to get forward and back. And that's the round. Left arm snatch for two. Oh yeah. Pumping it, pumping it. Nice work. Keep cruising. Finish it off. Hit those two snatches. Hit the reverse crawl. And once you get back, Fine. Yes, that's it. Well, you can do some more if you want. You can keep going. Round's over. You can get some extra reps in if you want. <laughs> Shake it. Stretch. We are working. We're gonna do, we're not going yet, but I'm gonna show you the exercise now. Our movement exercise forward and back is a crisscross jack. So feet come apart, of course you're gonna be holding the weight in the one arm right here. Feet come apart, then you crisscross, right leg in front. Apart, left in front, apart, right in front. Crisscrossing, moving forward. When you get to the end, all we're doing is just three bicep curls. Right arm, three bicep curls, that's it. And then crisscross jacks going backwards. Right arm, right leg in front, left leg in front, and then you'll switch arms. Wait another 15 seconds before we go. We don't need to go right away. It's a long round, lots of work, going up and down. You want to be ready for it. Stretch those quads. All this bouncing, you want to stretch your calves too. Keep stretching them, keep them loose. Stay hydrated. Shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, let's get set up. We're gonna start in the back position. Way back here. It's only 55. That's why I'm asking. Hold in your right arm. So we're gonna hit our three curls, three bicep curls to start. Three, two. And then three, hit three with the right arm. Hold it up here on the last one and hit those crisscross jacks moving forward. You have to brace those abs. So wide, then right in front, wide, left in front, and hit three more curls in the front position. Hold it up on the third one and crisscross jack backwards. Wide, right in front, wide, left in front, wide, right in front. You get to the back position, switch arms. Left side, three curls. Third one, hold it up and get to those jacks. You have to brace your abs when you're doing these jacks holding on one side. Get to the front position, hit your three curls. Hold the top on the third and get those crisscross jacks going backwards. Focus on your steps, focus. You don't twist an ankle, smooth. Switch arms, right arm. Three curls, hold it up, and crisscross, ha! Three curls on the right, pumping up the arms, giving the legs a break, and backwards. 
Fly it in your feet. Switch position when you're back there. Three curls on the left. Boom. Boom. Three. Hold it up. Crisscross jack. Ha. Ha. Three curls on the left. In the front position. Hit those three. And backwards. Crisscross jacks. Alternate which leg is in front. Switch arms. You're going one more time each side. Pump it for three. Two. Three. Hold it up. Crisscross jack. Ha. Three pump for the right arm. This is it for the right side. Hold it up. Crisscross jack. Going back. Woo. Left arm last on the left. There and back. Left arm. Hit your three. Crisscross jack forward. Hit your three. And backwards. Crisscross jack. And time. That's the round. Let me hang it. Shake it. Stretch it. Hydrate it. Recover it. How are we feeling? Feeling good? You hanging in there? Perfect. Keep those shoulders loose. And keep stretching those calves. This one's going to be a pretty fast paced round. Oh yeah. Pretty fast paced round coming up. So catch your breath. So we're holding it. Right arm. We're going high knees going forward and back. So it's high knees, literally running high knees in place, drifting forward. Our exercise is just four mountain climbers. You have that weight, one, two, three, four. So you hit four mountain climbers in the front position, four mountain climbers in the back position, holding your weight, and then you'll go high knees running backwards. So we'll, we'll do it all together. I'll walk through it the first round, and then we're gonna go at our own pace. Stretch it out, get ready. This is going to be a fast paced round because these are two fast paced exercises and we're still holding the damn weight in our hand. Oh yeah. Fun stuff. Right Tice? Fun? Yeah. That wasn't very convincing. All right. That final stretch in. So let's put it, let's all stay together here at the beginning. Bring it in your right hand, holding it in your right hand. Go down for your four mountain climbers first, right? Four total. One, two, three, four. Up on your feet, holding it in your right hand. High knee it forward. Hit the floor for four mountain climbers here. One, two, three, four. Right back up on your feet. Just four total and high knee it backwards. Holding that weight, brace those abs. Keep it tight. Switch left arm. Mount climber for four down there. One, two, three, four. Come up. High knee. Hit the floor. Four climbers. One, two, three, four. Shoulder rack. High knee backwards. Right arm. Right back down. Four climbers, hop up, shoulder rack, high knee forward, brace those core, there brace those abs, those core, high knee, mountain climber for four, still in your right hand, come up, high knee back, we're working, oh yeah, fast pace, mountain climbers, one, two, three, four, to your feet, high knee forward, Floor, four climbers. High knee back. Ha! One more time each side. Back to the right arm. Oh yeah. That means there and back twice. Four climbers. Two, three, four. Hop in. Right arm. High knee forward. Woo! Back down. Four climbers. One, two, three, four. Right back up. High knee 
hurts. Ha! Left arm. Last time. Four climbers. Two, three, four. High knee it forward. Floor. Climber. Two, three, four. Left arm. High knee it back. Ha! Toss the damn weight. Time. Now that was a fast pace round. That should get your heart rate jacked up there. Feeling good. Woo! Ha! line. A couple quick rounds to go. We are done. Just keep stretching those quads. Stretching the hamstrings. Stretching the glutes, the hips, the calves. So this one, we're going to hold the weight in our right arm. It's going to be jack, press, up for our movement. So when we're moving forward, we're going to be jack, pressing up with the weight. Once you get to the end, you're holding in the shoulder rack just for two squats. Then jack, press, up, going back. So when the feet go apart, the weight's going to go overhead. Jack, press, up is our movement. Once you get to the back position, we switch arms. So get your last quick stretch. Get those shoulders ready. They're going to get a, sh a ton of work here. A sh ton of work. Little kids are monsters. Little kids never die. All right, let's do it. Right arm. So right arm, right hold right here. Let's get our two squats first. So two squats. One, two, and now jack press up moving forward. The weight goes up when the feet go apart. Get forward. Two squats. Jack press up going backwards. Make sure we don't hit feet. Work more lower ankles. Spring your ankle bad if you do that. And switch arms. Left arm. Two squats. Jack press up. Two squats. Jack press up, going back. Switch. Right arm for two squats. Jack press up. Two squats. Jack press up, going backwards. Left arm. Two squat. Jack press up, forward. Ha! We are working. Killing it. Two squat. Jack press up, backwards. We are pumping it out, blazing it. Blazing it. Woo. One more time each side. You know it was coming, didn't you? You were hoping that was the last one, but it's not. Two squats on the right. Jack press up. Two squats, right arm. Jack press out back. Switch arms, last time. Left side there and back. Two squats left. Oh yeah, legs are feeling good. Jack press up. I think Ray's teaching the Thursday classes. Oh no, it's Thanksgiving, we're not gonna be doing it. Oh, all right, yes. Jack press up going back. And then we'll have the week after. This will be the workout in two weeks now. Time! We got one more round to go. You can put the dumbbell away. We don't need the dumbbell for the last round. Yes. We're going no dumbbell. We want fast pace. <laughs> one final round. It's going to be the repeat of one of the rounds we did already. 
just now without the weight. Guess which one it is, and we'll do it only for half the time. If you can guess which round we're doing. Three. The, the half cross, half cross. Oh, so close. So it was an option, but it's not. It's the high knee and the mountain climber. So we can go out with a fast paced round to burn out. So we're not holding the weight here. It's just literally the fast paced high knee moving forward. Get to the floor for your four jacks. High knee back. Floor for four jacks. Not yet. We're going to wait about 15, 20 seconds. I want full recovery. I want Last round of the day. Fast pace. No dumbbell to slow us down. Smooth transitions. The faster we go, the shorter this round will be. Blazing fast. And if you've been doing this the right way, your legs surely feel like lead. So they should be number eight. You can't even feel anything. So that's good. All right. Last sip. And we're rolling. All right. Let's do it. Start in the back position. Four mountain climbers. Let's hit the floor. Go. Four mountain climbers. Go. One, two, three, four. Up. For forward high knees. Pump it fast, fast, fast. Four climbers. One, two, three, four. Backwards high knees. Going at your own pace to burn out. So fast you kick the damn phone over. I like it. Pump it this last round of the day. Every bit of juice you got left. Every bit of juice. Pumping it. Brace those abs. Breathe. Breathe. Push it. Don't worry about the camera. Just go. Don't worry about the camera. Just work. Ha. Pump, 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 pump. Hit the floor. One, two, three, four. Backwards high knees. Come on. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. This is it. Fast you can. Burn your. Burn it out. Push the pace. It's the fastest round of the day to finish off. Oh, yeah. Come on, pump it, pump it, pump it. Couple seconds. We're there. Four. Pump. That time. Woo. Done. Get up. Let's sit down. We are done. Nice work. Is this your first workout back? Was this your first workout? You can unmute yourself. Hit the microphone button. There we go. Is this your first workout back? Just now? Yes. You picked the wrong time to jump right back in, I guess, but how you feeling? Okay. Fine. Feeling good? Fine. Feeling all right? Yes. Yes. All right. See you. All right. Nice work. We'll see you next time. But whenever, you, you. Even when you can't make it okay. live, make sure you're doing the recordings. We send out the email of the recordings every single morning. So if you don't make it live, do the workout of recording on your own. If you missed the live workout ever. Okay. And if you need any help with anything, just send us a message anytime. Any help with the nutrition, the workouts, modifications, just send us a message anytime. Okay. Thank you. All right. Nice work. I'll see you later. Nice. Thank Thanks you. Thank you. Bye. All right, freaks. That is the end of the session. Your heart rate should be jacked. You should be soaking wet. This shirt is completely soaked. If you're not. You need to be pushing a little harder. I'm looking at, it's not even on my face. What is up with that? Oh, wrong one. There we go. Multi, multiple cameras here, three cameras, two cameras, whatever. Facebook, Instagrams, all that stuff, whatever. All right, make sure that if you're missing the live workouts, and it does not mean you're not working out for the day. If you miss the live workout, all that means is that you still need, you just need to do a recording. You get the recording, sent your email seven days a week 4.30 a.m., it's in your email. Or even on the West Coast, you're getting that at 1.30 a.m. So there's no excuse not to do it. There's now members here from all over the country, some from even, several from out of the country. So 
You're not always going to be able to make it live. Just because you can't make it live doesn't mean you're not doing the training session. You pop open the phone and you just hit it. No matter where you are in the world, it doesn't matter. You could be, you could see today, we didn't need any equipment. We just had one dumbbell. If you need something else, you could, do, you could have done this without a dumbbell and it would have been just as crazy. It might have even been harder. That dumbbell was slowing us down. So that last round without the dumbbell, we were moving so much faster. Rarely need any equipment. But if you do, you just modify, get a substitute if you don't have it. But always get the session in no matter what. And then always check in on Facebook every time you do the session. Even if you're not doing it live, when you do the recording, check in on Facebook. Because we still have the monthly charities that the more you check in on Facebook, the more we donate to different charities. Especially during times like this, those charities and fundraisers need as much help as they can. And we are not going to stop, stop donating to them no matter how crazy things get. And even the more crazy things get, the more we want to give back and donate. So make sure you're checking in every single time on Facebook, whether it's live or recording. If you need help with anything, do not suffer in silence. Go on the Facebook VIP page, send me a private message. We can hop on the phone. We can talk about it. if you need help with your nutrition, with your grocery shopping, with the workouts, with modifications, with finding exercise substitutions or equipment substitutions, or you need to go want to buy some of your own equipment. We can help you out with all of that. Don't try to do it on your own. We are here to coach you, to guide you, to mentor you, to get you to results like we've been doing for the last 20 years. This is a proven system. You need to trust the process and you will get in the best shape of your life even from just through your phone, right from home. You can still get in the best shape of your life. You don't need a bunch of fancy equipment. You don't need a fancy gym. You just need the right, the proper guidance, the proper exercise routine, the proper motivation, the proper coaching. That's what you need. And then on top of that, you have to come to the table with a proper attitude and effort. Positive attitude, maximum effort, making no excuses with pure discipline in your training in your schedule, in your habits, and nutritional discipline. And of course, making no excuses. I will talk to you later. Let me know if you need anything. You are freaking awesome. I'm sure Freak Show wants to tell you something. No excuses! Very, very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets it from. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.